Chapter 5, Creating Forms. In Chapter 5, you're going to learn about how to create a form in an Access database. Before creating forms, obviously you need to have tables because you create a form from the data in the table. Forms can be used for a lot of different things. Some people use them because they'd rather enter data inside of a form. Also, it's just a different way, another way to look at your data than just seeing it on the regular grids of a table. To create a form, I'm just going to show you the very basic form. Um, to do the basic form, you have to decide which table you're creating the form for. In this case, I'm going to create a form for the supplier's table. So I have to have the supplier's table selected. Then in the Create tab, we have Forms. And I'm just going to click Form. There you have it. One step, pretty much, to make a basic form. Down here, we have our record navigation. And we can navigate through our records. Um, all the way to the right of the navigation, you've got the um, arrow with the burst. That would be to create a new record. So if I click that, it brings me to a blank record where I can add enter data or data entry for a new record inside of the form. Um, once in a while, you're asked to put your name in the footer of a form. To do any changes like that, you need to be in design view. Right now, I'm in layout view. I'm going to go ahead and switch to design view. And where it says form footer, I'm going to pull it down. So I have room to put my name in there. To, to put your name in there, you need to grab the label button, which is the big A, little a in the design tab in the controls part right here. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Once I have that rectangle created, created by Deb Giblin, I'm going to go ahead and go back to um, layout view. In layout view, I can also change the theme if I don't like the color scheme that's going along with the form. I can go ahead and play and change things a little bit. And now I'm going to look at it in form view. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm just going to name it suppliers form. Save it and close it. That's one way to do a basic form. Um, another way might be to do a split form. To do a split form, let's go to the products table this time. In the form group, there's a more button. And you'll see the third one down is split form. What a split form is, it's where you see the actual form, but you see the table below it. Some people would rather go to the table and enter their new record, but yet see it in the form. So they might want to do a split form um, for their the form they choose. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that and name it products. And I'm just going to say split form. And there it is. I'm going to close it. We in this class typically don't do a form design. Form design would be if you wanted to start from a blank grid and add fields and how you want to mix them up, a couple fields from this table, a couple from that. In this, in this class, we kind of stick to the basics, and this is a little bit more advanced, so we typically do not use Design View for creating forms. Once again, I'm going to recap. The two ways we did forms is, one, we selected the table we wanted to create the form for first and just click the Form button. Two, again, you click the table first, and then you go ahead and go under More Forms and choose. Now what if you wanted to have a form where you had a couple of fields from the orders table and a couple from the products table? Well then you would go to the wizard and create your form. I could start with the suppliers table and add a couple of fields. Then maybe I go to the orders table and add a couple of fields. And let's take a couple from the products table. Go to next. This is if you wanted um, to change how you're viewing your data. Just to keep things simple, I'm not going to change anything here. If I want it on uh, data sheet view or tabular, you could choose. Usually in the book, if it has a specific one it wants, it'll ask for it. Otherwise, if it doesn't tell you, I always just keep the default settings. Um, what do you want for the title? Suppliers is fine. Then there's a subform, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Click finish, and there's the form we created. And this is the subform part that we added in there. Again, I'm going to save it. And now we have created many different forms um, today. I hope you understand forms a little better. You only have two assignments to do. 
um, in the forms and they're assessment three and four on page 224. Once again, you don't have to print, just save and then upload those databases once you're done. Uh, thanks and have a good day.